Chiefs head coach Andy Reid spoke to the media on Thursday, and I thought there were three things that stood out in particular, the first of which were his comments on the Chris Jones and Sammy Watkins contract situations. As many guys you can keep, you'd love to do that. I mean, that's uh, part of it. There's there's the other part. I mean, you know, Veach has got to sit there and juggle the salary cap and do all that. And so, uh, but logic tells you that, I mean, as many guys you can that uh, are familiar with what you're doing on either side of the ball, special teams likewise, uh, you'd like to you'd like to be able to do. Reed added that as a coach of the team, he stays in touch with the two players, but he leaves all of that contract stuff to general manager Brett Veach. If you've been following Reed for a while now, this answer was to be expected. We in the media are supposed to talk to Veach in the coming weeks, so perhaps more clarity soon. Andy Reed also described his at home current work situation. Uh, yeah, I wish I could take you through a virtual tour of this thing. It's uh it's, it's kind of classic. Um, I'm sitting in my basement, literally, and uh, I, I've got an art trainer sitting here in case I want to jump on that to get a little exercise. I've got my monitor set up along with my computer and my iPad right next to that. And I've got one of my wife's antique tables here, a little coffee table that I'm using to throw everything on. So, uh, but I'm, I'm uh, in the basement. Yeah. And you know what? It's not bad. The Chiefs were nice enough to show us that workspace on Twitter. Last point that stood out for me. This was the first time we got to talk to Andy Reid since he promoted Mike Kafka to that pass game coordinator role. So I asked him what went into that decision. Before I did anything with Mike, I, I talked with Eric Bieniemy about this. And and so Eric's also a big fan of Mike's. And uh, and and so we just thought it was a, a thing that, that he deserved at this particular time. And so... Um, you've got Andy Heck, who's the run game coordinator, and you've got Mike, who's doing the pass game coordinator. And then, again, Eric uh, makes everything kind of happen there as the offensive coordinator. The Chiefs are not only in good position because they have their core players coming back, they also have a lot of good coaches coming back. Several head coaches and future coordinators are in that room.